Hello Crypto Traders, this is Matthew with Crypto Traders Pro and today I want to kick off a new series on our YouTube channel and how to grow your small cryptocurrency trading portfolio. Now this is going to be a series consisting of tips and tricks that I've learned along the years of trading throughout my trading career and especially in the cryptocurrency markets. <music> Now, I started cryptocurrency trading with a $1,500 account back in November 2016, where I was only able to afford two Bitcoin, and I've grown that massively over the last year and a half of trading. So let's jump right into the video here, starting with tip number one, always stay in the profits and learning how to lock in your profits and utilize a stop loss appropriately. So what I want to do for this video is use a real example that is based off the Crypto Traders Pro website. These are actually the signals that we post for the community. These are trades that I've played personally and that the entire Crypto Traders Pro community has played as well in the past. So the example I want to use in this video is going to be Wanchain against Ethereum and we're going to be breaking down the chart and really describing and what I'm talking about on how to always stay in the profits because as you may know when you're when you're growing that small account maybe a $500 or $3,000 account when you take losses even if they're small losses they're going to really affect you because you don't have much capital to work with. So you need to make sure you're always taking profits and always staying in the green because each loss is really going to set you back. So right here we have the WAN chain signal that was posted and the entry was the 820k we which is the Ethereum version of Satoshi's and the stop loss was at 790k we. So let's break down the chart here. Now the signal was posted two weeks ago somewhere in this zone right about here so let, let's break down these levels here like that and I'm not exactly sure on the date specifically this was two weeks ago today is the 15th so let's say it was right around April 1st which happened to be somewhere in here on the chart so what I was noticing on this chart is let, let's back it up even more here um, Back when, back when I first noticed this play, I saw somebody in the, in the community, actually Adam, who is a member of Crypto Traders Pro community, he was talking about WAN Chain, and he brought it to my attention saying that they have uh, a conference that they're hosting in Dubai on April 16th, which happens to be tomorrow, and they're going to be announcing six new projects on their blockchain. So we are able to find this news that was just released, I believe it was the end of March, and I figured as we got closer to the date that the news was going to be released that we would see a pump in the price, that we would see the price increase. So what I noticed on the chart here is kind of this ascending triangle pattern. We saw the breakout and I wanted to see where the new base was going to be. So I, I watched this chart for a while. I kind of watched it bounce around this area. It was rejecting off this level up here, 850K. And it was coming back down here, holding this base around 80K. So I ended up calling the signal at 820K, which happened to be, uh, I'll put a small line here on the chart, right here on the chart. So the signal's right at this line here, and our risk, which, which means if it drops below this level right here, I'm going to cut it as a loss. So 790K, which happened to be right here on the chart. So these are the levels we're playing with. And if you took an entry right at the signal price right here and it came down to this level, it would have been a 3% loss, which is very, very, very small. I mean, most of my trades, I give about a 10% to 15% even kind of leeway in case they don't necessarily uh, go my way right away. So I like to give it some wiggle room. But in this trade, we actually were able to get a really good entry with a, a very minimal loss. And I noticed it was holding this area of support. So I figured if it does break below here, this chart's kind of breaking down. I don't want to be in it anyway. So I got my entry here at 820K, and I have my stop loss here, which would result in a loss if it ended up breaking down. But, and this is, this is where my, my tip, my piece of advice comes in. As soon as we see the breakout past this key resistance level, so we notice this is resistance based on the chart where it rejected off. Reject it off here once, twice, three times, and then we saw the breakout. So as it was rejecting off this level, we see there was clear resistance here, and then we saw the breakout. 
So now that it breaks out of this level, I want to see, okay, where's the new bottom going to be? Where's that new base going to be? Just like w right when it was here, 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 where is that new base on the chart going to be? And it happened to be right here. This was the new bottom. And if we zoom out far enough, we see, okay, why was this the bottom? Well, if we put a support line here and look back on the chart to kind of when it started, we saw, oh, well, it was resistance here. So when it breaks out past that resistance, it's going to come down and act as support on the downside. So as soon as I saw this ended up holding as resistance, what I decided to do was move my stop loss up. This is going to ensure that no matter what happens on this trade, I get profits. Because my entry happened to be at this line right here. And instead of having my stop loss down here and waiting, maybe it does break all the way down, come back down here. Well, I don't want to hold it that entire time. I would rather cut it right here, take my small win, maybe a 10% win. Let's see. It would have been an 8% win. So I'd rather have an 8% win here rather than a wait for it to come all the way back down and have a 3% loss. So as soon as I saw it make that higher base, I decided to move my stop loss up. And this is going to ensure no matter what, I am in the profits. And if I have a small account, say a, a $1,000, $500, $3,000 account, I want to make sure I'm not taking any losses or keeping them very small if I am because I want to continuously build my account over time. So I see it, I see it makes the new base. Let's continue on with the chart. It has another breakout past the key resistance level, which was right around here, right around here on the chart. Breaks out past this level, so it, re it was resistance here. It kept, it kept getting stuck around this area. Again, these lines might not be perfect, but as you can see on the chart, they act pretty, pretty damn close to perfect. So it has the breakout past this resistance level, kind of consolidates, bounces around, comes back down, retests this area of support, holds this area and what does that mean I do it means I move my stop loss up I now move my stop loss up to this line at 1 million way which is the ethereum version of satoshis so now my stop loss is all the way up here and no matter what I'm going to end up profiting at least let's say 20 percent on this play which is pretty good for a few days work uh, this all happened in under a week this is this is the hourly chart by the way so now we have a new base right here and it has a breakout. It breaks out past this level of resistance right here on the chart and goes on another run. So it's it's churning up, it's, it's moving up pretty quickly. Actually a pretty good run right here. But we know it's probably gonna come back down again. It's probably gonna, I wanna see if it's gonna establish a new base, a higher base. So that's exactly what it did. It comes back down right here on the chart and retest this area so previous resistance on the chart right here is now acting as support on the downside much like it has every other time we've looked at so it breaks out past resistance come back down retest the support you know what that means it moves I again move my stop loss up to this level at about 111 or, or 1.1 million way or we so it's actually pretty close to that level now, and I'm watching this position, monitoring it closely, and that's why I wanted to do my example on this chart, because it's a real trading example. I'm still in this play from two weeks ago. So summarizing this entire move is, is basically the entire time as the chart continues to move up in price, continues to make higher bases, I'm going to keep moving my stop loss higher. This is going to ensure that no matter what happens, I'm going to profit. And right now, it looks like the minimum profit I'm going to take on this trade is about 35%, which is pretty good for, for two weeks. It's not great. It's not crazy gains. But if you had a $1,000 investment in this and you get a 35% profit, that's $350. That's going to help grow your account and get it closer to that $2,000 mark, taking small gains, compounding them, and rolling them over into another play that looks ready to run. This is how I grew my account. I was never greedy and I didn't have the hold mentality. And the hold mentality I am very much against because you're going to end up holding as it shoots up and then it comes right back down. Instead of locking in your profits, which is what I'm a big advocate of, taking your gains, compounding your gains, and rolling them over into the next hot play. 
So tomorrow we have the news dropping with WAN Chain. They have a conference in Dubai. They're going to be announcing the six new projects on their blockchain. And I'm hoping there's some surprises that could really pump this price up again to the next level. But if not, and if it does happen to break down here and break below this line, I'm going to end up cutting the trade right there, taking my 35% profits and moving on to the next play. And the reason being is I do believe in Wanchain. I do think it's going to be a, a really big trade over time. But there's other plays that might be producing gains faster. So there's an opportunity cost if I'm just holding on to this play and hoping that it does do something in the next six months. Maybe there's something that's going to be moving in the next couple days or next week or so. And I want to be in that play. I want to move on the next train that's already moving rather than the train that's already slowing down. So I hope you guys were able to take... Um, something away from this video and realize that you need to keep moving your stop loss up so you're automatically going to be in the green and no matter what I'm going to end up profiting on this play and what I really don't like doing is using hard stop losses because sometimes we like uh, the market makers like to wick produce these wicks that come right back down here and then jolt the price right back up so what I really like to do is kind of wait for that candle to close or wait for that day to close the daily candle to close and see if it does end up closing below this line so what i like ut utilizing personally is a mental stop loss which means if it does go below this line i'm i'm strong enough i'm mentally strong enough to tell myself that i'm going to exit this position because i know that i could be making more gains and something else and i want to lock in as much profits as possible instead of giving those back this is also called a, could be called a trailing stop loss, where your stop loss is kind of trailing the price as it's increasing. Um, but again, I, I like using more of a mental stop loss. So let me know if you guys got value out of this video and you enjoyed it, if you think this tip is, is worthwhile. Um, I'm going to keep doing more videos in this series because there's so many tips and lessons I've learned throughout my six and a half years of trading between stocks and cryptocurrency. So if you don't mind, please like this video, subscribe to our page, and also drop a comment below if you find this video useful for you and you're going to implement it into your own trading strategy. So that wraps up this video, guys. This is Matthew with Crypto Traders Pro, and we'll see you on the moon.